Hi and welcome back to Amaroni Today. I'm Melissa and today along with the kids I'm going to be exploring one of Haber's Terra Kids range and what a better day to do it than today. I mean I'm basking in the glorious sunshine, the weather has taken a turn for the better, thank goodness. So Terra, meaning Earth, is the perfect place to be. And now this particular product is called Terra Kids Connectors and that's exactly what it offers. The children a chance to use these connectors and there are 66 pieces in this box that can be used to then create up to three different models. The children have to go out and explore nature, find bits and pieces that they think could construct something, either a model, a car, anything. It's really up to them. So it really encourages them to use their imagination, creativity, and to explore the outdoors, which is where we want our kids to be, let's be honest. So here are my two co-presenters today. We've got Jayen, who you've all met before. Hi. And this is our very special guest, Peter. Welcome, Peter. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's really exciting to have you. So the two of you are going to be looking at the Terra Kids Connector Games. And today I'm going to ask you the first thing to do is to have a look at what we get inside the box. It all comes in this bag. Do you want to take the bag and start taking things out and tell us what you find? There are actually 66 pieces in there. Go ahead. What's that? A stick. A stick. Okay, Jay, and what can you find? Just pull them out, guys. Let's have a look and see what's there. Wow. So what else have you got in the box, Peter? There's some soda lids. Well, that, yeah, that, well, they're, they're actually called corks. And you find them in bottles, don't you? Of bottles of drink. So, right, okay, Jay, and what have you got in your hand over there? Wheels. Wheels, okay. What else have you got, guys? Screwdriver. Oh, a screwdriver. Who likes doing a bit of building? Mm. Yeah, you enjoy that. Right, would you like to do some building today? Yeah. Yeah, so there's actually 66 pieces, as I said, in that box. So what you've got to do is find something to use these connectors with. Can you see on the box there's some pictures? What can you see? A monkey and a meal. And there's like a rope. It looks like a robot, that one, doesn't it? Yeah. But do you know something, Jayan and Peter? You can build anything you want. So what kind of things are we going to be looking for in the garden, do you think, to build something? Leaves. Leaves. Wood. Wood, bits of wood. That's a really good one. Twigs. Twigs, yep. Yeah. Natural twigs from the trees and the plants. Acorns. Acorns would be a really good one, wouldn't they? Do you have any idea of what you guys might want to create? I mean, on there they've got like little models of the, of the robot and so on, but you could build anything. Do you, do you know what you'd like to do? No. Not sure yet? I know, why don't you go and have a little explore and then maybe you'll find some, something to inspire you. What about that? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, great, let's go. So Peter, what are you thinking of making? A bunny. A bunny, okay, and so what do you think you need? What, do we, what are we looking for? Two ears. Two ears. So what should we make the ears out of? I've leaves. got a bit of an idea of leaves. what you could make the ears. Did you say leaves? Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Come on, let's find some leaves. Let's go there. There we go. I see some leaves there. There's loads should of leaves. Should we go there. and find what else you need now, Petey? Yeah. Great. So, Peter, how are you getting on? Kind of good. And what were you thinking now? What are you looking for now? Something for my bunny's body. Your bunny's body. Well, I think for your bunny's body, you need something that's kind of a bit round and maybe like an acorn would be really good. Let's see if we can find one. I'm not sure this is the season for it, but we can give it a go. Jay, and what do you think you're going to make today? Mm, car. You want to make a car? Yeah. Well, they did have wheels in the connectors pack, didn't they? Yeah. So, what do you need for your car? So you need a piece of wood. Yeah. What else do you think you need? some twigs right off you go then go on a hunt okay so guys what did you find out there that you are going to be using to make your items I found this. okay a twig and that's going to be for your car yeah. and what are you going to use what are you going to attach to the twig uh, some pieces of wood some pieces of wood and what are you going to use from the connectors set and these wheels these wheels okay great and Peter what about you what's happening with your bunny rabbit so I'm trying to put my bunny rabbit's ears up, okay. but they just are going down. 
So we need to screw them on, I think, to that corkscrew, don't we? We need to make your bunny rabbit's body. Mm -hmm. Yeah? This is quite complicated for you two, because did you know that this game is actually for eight-year-olds and over? And how old are you, Peter? Five. And how old are you, Jay? Six. So I think this is quite adventurous for you, but maybe you and I, uh, we can sit down and try and create something with what you've found. And let's see how we go. Shall we do that? Yeah. Okay. So Peter, let's have a look at your bunny rabbit. Ah, what happened to your bunny rabbit? I tried to make its ears up. Yeah. But I decided that now it could be a paraglider. A paraglider. Oh, show me how that works. So you just hold it up like yeah. that and then you throw it. Oh, it's gone. Oh it's my right goodness. behind you. Oh, here it is. There we go. So he's made a paraglider. Very cool. Oh yeah, nice. So even though you started off making a bunny rabbit, in the end, it was a paraglider and that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, yeah, excellent. So JM, what are you doing now? Putting the wheels on. You're putting your wheels on, okay. Oh wow, you look great. And you've already done one here. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So it, how did you do that? I just like made holes with the screwdriver in the corks and um, put some screws in and then put the wheels on and then took the screws out. So it's stuck there. Oh, great. And now you've just got to work out how to incorporate your twig. So what have you done now? You've yeah. added something else, one yeah. of the other connector pieces. Ah, yeah. oh, you put those in both sides. Okay. All right. So it's then it's up. up. Okay. And then it's, it's all standing with your twig in the center. Yeah. Oh, this is great. It's looking much more like a car now. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, I just need to build up around here and stuff. Yeah, you've got to make it stable, haven't you? Yeah. So you need to work out how to do that. That's great, Jane. Well done. So the boys have had fun. I think it's quite advanced for them. So when it says eight plus, I would say that's probably a good guideline. However, with my help, they did have a bit of fun and it's good for them because it helps them practice the mechanics and the kind of eye-hand coordination and so on and so forth. Oops. There's a little bit of wind now. So Tara Kids Connectors, it's, it's really good fun. And actually at the end of it all, the boys did actually manage to create some quite unique pieces. So this is Jayan's car, which looks pretty speedy. Not sure how much it can move, but it's definitely rocking backwards and forwards. And Peter's bunny that ended up becoming a paraglider. Thanks for joining myself, Jayan and Peter on Amaroni today, looking at the Terra Kids Connectors. Next week, we're going to be playing with a game called Colour It from Habba. Uh, it's a bit like a colouring bingo game, so a lot of fun for the family. Do tune in and thanks very much for watching today. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to this channel and head over to our Instagram for more competition news. Thanks again. See you next week.